Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's no secret that my IELTS score for listening is 9.0 and I'm happy to share with you tips and strategies that helped me achieve this. Initially I recorded this video a long time ago but decided to re-upload with better quality and updated information for you because there were some changes to the listening module along the way. Watch to the end to get my gift as well. I will divide my tips into two sections. The first is dedicated to your practice before the test and the second will be all about things you should do at the test venue. So, the first tip for at-home preparation that I want to share with you is actually my favorite English exercise. I used to hate it when I was in middle school, but then I understood how much it helps boost my language abilities, not only in listening, but in many different aspects, frankly. So, it is to write down a full recording. Right, so you take a tape, doesn't matter which, it can be a track from your English student's book or a certain part of a podcast or a whole IELTS listening recording. Listen to it and write it down word by word. It is brilliant because such activity helps you to stay concentrated on what you are listening to. It helps you distinguish separate words from a conversation. You become more accustomed to the speech with which native speakers speak. And you will also be more confident when listening to anything afterwards. Highly recommend it. The next tip is don't forget to listen to different accents. IELTS is not a test of a British English purely, although it may seem so. Not only you are allowed to use any accents you like, but also speakers in the recordings frequently utilize accents from different parts of the globe. New Zealand, Australia, America, Canada, etc. By the way, if you want to work on your own accent, then make sure that you sound clearly. Click on that info card to watch a video where I explain my process of reducing my thick Russian accent that I used to have. You will be able to get a free PDF guide there as well. The next piece of advice is to use varied sources for your listening. Don't just focus on staple IELTS listening recordings, they might get boring for you and there is nothing worse than losing interest in learning. So, I recommend a building up an individual mix of media that you fancy. Podcasts and audiobooks are the most obvious and frankly most effective options. A good audiobook will captivate you so that it's easy to remain tense and hooked until the very end. When you're interested, you learn faster and easier, naturally. Or consider podcasts, they are shorter and cover any topic you can think of. I also have a podcast where I tackle IELTS speaking questions and record sample answers for you. You can find it here in the info card or in the description box below the video. Right, now let's move on to some tips that concern the actual exam day. So, the tip number four, once you are at your desk in the test venue, make sure to pay attention to the sound quality when they will check it. If you are not comfortable with how well you hear the recording, definitely ask the staff to fix the sound. It is not a time to be shy or uncomfortable. You have paid for this test and you deserve having a clear sound without being distracted to technical problems. My fifth point is this. Don't forget that looking through the questions before you start listening is absolutely vital. This is your time to familiarize yourself with the main topic of the recording you're about to listen and help yourself create an outline on what you want to focus judging from the questions you have. On my IELTS preparation course, I speak more about techniques that help you concentrate on what you will hear in the tape. It is super important. Number six, remember that there is no example in the beginning of listening section as of January 2020. This means that you have to be extra quick when reading the tasks and most importantly getting into the right mindset. It's one thing when you didn't have enough time to read through the handout and feel a bit lost. But that's completely another thing, when you don't feel confident enough just because you don't believe in your abilities and there was no introductory short listening to set you in the right mood. So hence, the next tip is to practice at home in the exam-like conditions and be aware that at the actual test you will have to jump straight into the listening without any preface or lead-in. So you have probably already figured that the main strategy that leads you to success on IELTS listening is always being 100% concentrated. 
there won't be any second chance. Use your time wisely to reduce the stress factor. Number eight, pay attention to how you transfer your answers to the answer sheet. They can be fully capitalized. However, make sure you stick to the same format throughout. This means that you can spare yourself the pain of being mistaken when you're not sure of whether a particular word must start with a capital letter or not. But it's not a good idea though to capitalize only some of your answers and then write the rest in small letters. So stick to one format. And consequently, spelling is of utmost importance on IELTS. A smallest spelling mistake ruins the whole answer, so make certain you always learn new words with their spelling and preferably with their pronunciation as well. This will save you lots of otherwise lost points at the test. Yes, I'm talking about those people who write accommodation with single C or M or confuse massage and the message. And the last tip for you, try to plug in to a situation that you are listening about. For example, if a speaker is a zookeeper who instructs new visitors, try to visualize the whole setting in the zoo. This will help you to keep your attention at the same level throughout the recording and you won't fall out of it completely. Anyway, practice makes perfect. By the way, I have prepared a present for you. If you want to get this guide to common listening mistakes that are based on this video, make sure to follow me on Instagram and send the key phrase listening mistakes to my direct messages and I will send you back this awesome guide I made for you completely for free. Right, thank you so much for being here with me today. I really hope this was constructive and comprehensive because I tried to fit in everything I knew about listening that allowed me to get 9.0 on my IELTS listening exam. It was the academic module, by the way. Please leave me a comment down below saying whether you liked this episode or not and what else do you want me to cover in the next videos. I will be very happy if you decide to leave a like for me or even subscribe and as always, I will be delighted to see you again here. Ciao!